Now, opposition NDC has bemoaned denunciations of the press threats and instigations against journalists, as they call it. Also, they say selective and forcible shutdown of FM stations, which they say are perceived to be critical uh, of government, among others. Well, former President Mahama, in a speech, said the culture of silence that is fast enveloping the country attests to a growing intolerance uh, for dissenting and critical opinions. The NDC's chairman, Samuel Ofusu Ampofu, who has been reading a speech on behalf of former President Mahama on the occasion of the seventh anniversary of the passing of Professor Atta Mills, said the current happenings in the country are contrary to the values that the late professor stood for. Johnny says Matilda Pomega was at the wreath-laying ceremony and has the details. It's been a solemn morning here at the Asumje Park where family, friends, former ministers of state have been paying glory and tribute to the late Professor Evans Atamels. Today marks exactly seven years since his demise, where the country was thrown into a state of shock and mourning. His family and friends and former government appointees have been laying wreath here in memory of the late President Evans John Atamels. We are gathered here at the time when our commitment as a nation to fairness and transparency in governance is wavering as to the rights and duty of Ghanaians to criticize their leadership on those grounds. The culture of silence that is fast enveloping our country attests to a growing intolerance of dissent and critical opinions. It stands in stark contrast to the practice of freedom and justice that was sought to consolidate under his leadership, and which I so effortly exemplified after taking over from him. Ghana's hard-won global reputation for a media freedom has been badly dented under the President Akufuado's regime. We have seen it tarnished by denunciation of the press, threats to threat and instigation against journalists, selective and possible shutdown of FM stations perceived to be critical of government among others. I have strength within him that he is a man of great faith. And because of his faith and his belief in God, that it is God who moves all things that made him a very strong man spiritually. And sometimes it is only on contact with him that you know the strength that he has to move this country. And the only thing I like to remember about him, and I will always remember, is his philosophy about governance, his political ideas. He believed that politics is by the people and for the people. And it is that the people should drive their own political agenda. And because of this, he was such a great socialist. And he stood for the will of the people. Many people have referred to President Mills as a reluctant politician. I don't think that he was a reluctant politician. I think that he was the kind of politician that Ghana needs that in governance, in political administration, it should not be them against us. It should be all of us together, because that's what Ghana is. Uh, we're talking about a country, a people, forging together in a forward direction. So he always regretted when signs were seen of attempts at dividing the people and embedding in them this attitude of them against us. When the priest was preaching, he talked about the polarization of this country. Exactly, that is where we have got into now. Professor Mills never believed in that. And I wish, I wish what we are saying of Ghana today didn't happen because I belong to his school. I don't believe in polarization. I believe in working together. Yeah, we may have different views and all, but it doesn't mean that we must break this country into two 
and you are either here or you are there. You know? So that's one thing that I will forever remember my boss with. And uh, he stood for everybody. He was friends with everybody across the political divide, even those who vilified him. I share in that philosophy. I stand in that philosophy. But I can't say that for many of the leadership of this country today, they don't believe in that. And that is the sadness that, that we are. What, what can be done to address the situation? Because that is where we are now. It takes it take the leadership. It takes the leadership. The leadership must be seen to be forging people together. So I will pray that leader, when I talk of leadership, it's not today's only. I'm talking about today's leadership, tomorrow's leadership, and the leadership that will follow. Because as Professor Mill said, if you do it to me this time, I'll do it to you. My children will do it to you, your children will do it to me, and it goes on and on and on and on. That's not the way to build a country. Professor Mills is a great lead, was a great leader. And I'm saying this because sometimes on the outside, you will think that uh, he doesn't. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, seven years ago, about this time, the newsrooms were busy and a lot of confusion as to how to break the news of his demise. May his soul continue to rest in peace.